Oscoda is back in the spotlight as the area still grapples with groundwater contamination. Chemicals known as PFAS were used in firefighting foam at the former Wurtsmith Air Force Base and have since leached into the ground. As TV5's Jonathan Jackson reports, it's been a back and forth battle between the state and military when it comes to cleanup. David and Meg, we're here on Van Ant and Lake in Oscoda, where community leaders and Michigan veterans are demanding action from the local Air Force Base to clean up contamination of PFAS here in their water. We're here today to say enough. Residents and veterans of Oscoda are joining forces to get PFAS out of the water. Holding a press conference today addressing the U.S. Air Force to clean up PFAS contamination from the former Wurtsmith Air Force Base came in two separate chunks. The first was the south part with the Osabo River uh, in 2010, 11, 12. And then in 2016, those of us here on the lake were informed that we were impacted. That's Tony Spaniola, who has a home right across Van Etten Lake. He's also with the organization Need Our Water and says that the contamination of PFAS from the U.S. Air Force Base has been going on for years and explains that it's left the entire community avoiding the water here on the lake and that he wants something to be done about it to treat and clean the plumes that are impacting the beach here on Van Etten Lake, the state campground here on Van Etten Lake, and the youth camp here on Van Etten Lake. Not only that, but Air Force veteran Craig Miner, who once lived in Oscoda and served at Wurtsmith Air Force Base, says the PFAS contamination affected his own family back when his wife was pregnant with their now 30-year-old son, who is now mute and quadriplegic. Back when we were there, no one told us a thing. If we had known, if we just were told, hey, there's potentially chemicals in the ground water, uh, we wouldn't have drank in it. Since then, Miner and his family moved to Dayton, Ohio, and he's continued to take care of his family while also spreading awareness for this serious issue. This uh, issue here at Wordsmith is only one small microcosm of something very uh, much larger. This is happening on bases all over the country. And community leaders are meeting with the U.S. Air Force Base in order to get some sort of response on them taking action over this issue. Reporting here in Oscoda, Jonathan Jackson, WNEM TV5.